Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Zanubi Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel and today we have um an exciting video but also a slightly awkward video for me to make. Uh basically those of you who followed the channel know that I was watching my teenage girl. I was watching it not as it aired, but like week by week, um kind of live with the show. And uh and then I stopped. Um and even though I stopped after an episode that I, I wasn't really a fan of some of the choices that were made. Um, that's not why I stopped. I stopped because I had to stop everything. I got sick. I'm pretty sure it was COVID again, because uh, my brother had it again. But point being, uh, I was too sick to do anything for several weeks. I think I ended up missing four, five episodes, four episodes. So I would have been so far behind. Um, so uh, I have now added an addendum if I'm watching a show live. Um, just know, uh, unfortunately, the, the the thing that lets me do this job and lets me make YouTube videos and react to K-pop um, is me being too sick to do any other quote-unquote real job, normal job. But it's also, unfortunately, means I have this, <laughs> right? Um, and sometimes I'm going to get sick for weeks or days or months or... Um, and I am just going to have to do my best to keep, keep up with everything and catch up with everything. Um... And so, uh, in the future, if I am watching a survival show live, I still plan to watch all future girl group survival shows live and react to them. But that always comes with the caveat that I could get sick at some point and have to stop. And uh, that's unfortunately what happened with this show. So, yeah. Uh, so I decided the group was made. And rather than trying to scramble and catch up and being weeks behind and avoiding the lineup, maybe missing their debut... Um, I just said I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. Maybe I'll go back and watch it on my own. Maybe I'll do a stream with just the stages or something. I don't know yet. But uh, I decided, hey, they just released like a pre-debut video, I think. Uh, like a little music video, performance video with one of the songs from the show. So I decided, hey, you know what? I may as well just react to that. React to the K-Profile. See what the final lineup is. And, uh, and then move on. So sorry for you guys who wanted to see my reactions to the rest of the show. Um, I didn't drop it because I was mad. Uh, I was mad, but I wouldn't have dropped the show. I'm happy to power through if I'm not coming back five weeks later after a break. So, that's why. Um, there's my little, I don't know, five-minute rant, intro, whatever, apology. Um, so, yeah. Future shows, Island, whatever comes out, uh, we'll do our best to watch it. But, as with everything on this channel, it comes with the contingency that my health can hold up. And, uh... I don't like scrambling to catch up on, on a show that I was watching live. It just feels really bad. So, here we go. Classy. Cool name. I, I kind of like it. I like the little lowercase y. They're a class because it's from My Teenage Girl and there were classes. Um, that's It's kind of nice. I, I don't mind it, actually. Seven member girl group. I uh, still think it should have been more. <laughs> still think it should have been more. Um, but I'm always going to want more from our survival show group. More members. Uh, do, do, do. The final lineup was announced on the final episode on the 27th, which was just a couple of days ago. This group managed by M25, which I'm not familiar with at all. I don't know. I don't know that. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that company. Um, let me know if that's like a sub label of uh, like NBC or like a like a uh, company they own or something. Um. The aim of the group is to have potential to chart on the Billboard charts. Interesting. Here's the members. Chung So. That was the name that instantly lit up in my brain as far as people that uh, had an impact on me early on. Um, in general, those of you who watched the first three episodes along with me, the PRs and stuff, know I was really, really, really most attached to third grade, which is depressing given this lineup. But also, but also, I was really attached to fourth grade, and so a lot of fourth graders made it through. I was actually worried none would. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm happy to see some fourth names here. Um, Hyungso was the one that uh, I did find out the lineup. I saw it in my Discord or on Twitter. I don't know. I saw it the other day, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm so happy for Hyungso. First of all, uh, Chewon, Hyeju, Buwon, Jimin, Boon. 
so new. I'm not going to get into my rant on debut ages and stuff. Uh, if we're going to have grade ones, uh, I'm glad, or class ones, I'm glad that it's going to be the two oldest. Was it the two oldest grade ones? I know Bone was the oldest, but I don't remember if, I think, yeah, I think it's the two oldest grade ones. Anyway, let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, and Sonyu, okay, don't have a phantom name or color yet. Hyungso, rank three, deserved, I'm happy. Uh, real name, Myung Hyungso, born 2001, uh, do do member of Busters, and she was actually there when, uh, Yeso was there. So, if you're familiar with Kepler, she was, uh, she was, like, rooting for her on, uh, on the show, which was cool. Uh, she lived in Texas for six years, she speaks English fluently, favorite color is black, she plays the guitar. Doesn't like orange juice, <laughs> which is kind of a random thing. I'm wondering if that extends to real orange juice, or if that's just, like, orange juice from the store. I don't know. Random tangent. Next up, Chewon. Do, do, do. She is an 03 liner. Um, let's see, June 03. So she's 18 international age. You're never supposed to do videos in... You're never supposed to do math on a video or on a broadcast, but... I believe she's 18. Um, wow, also very pretty. What a surprise. Uh, likes action movies. Fan of Big Bang and Sister. Good choices. Good music there. Favorite color is black. Keju, also absolutely ridiculously gorgeous. One of my favorite um, contestants from grade 4, early on. Um, Hong Keju, born uh, December 9th, 2003. Do, do, do. Favorite meal of the day is breakfast. <laughs> That's fun. I don't hear that fact about people very often, I feel like. Uh, hobbies, cooking, listening to music, dancing. She thinks she looks like a squid. <laughs> and she's friends with uh, Dion from Kepler. I didn't know that. Nice. Next up, Riwon. Uh, Riwon is... Yeah, that's a... That's a massive jump. <laughs> 0 03 liner, 0 07 liner. <laughs> 0 07 liner. Um, <laughs> she has giant pretty eyes, though. Kim Ryuan, uh, January 07, which would make her 15. Sorry, someone was being super loud outside my window, so I had to stop recording for a moment. Um, let's see. Do do do. Model, many endorsements, acted in. Oh, cool. A couple of. I'm assuming those are web series, let me know. Uh, and then we have Jimin, who is rank one, apparently. Uh, she was also an 07 liner, which is wild. Uh, November 07, actually. Which is like, that's insane. So she'll. Yeah, she's like 14, right? That's crazy. Motto is never give up, just keep trying. That's a good motto. Park Bone, super crazy good voice. Um, th my favorite voice from, uh, especially the younger classes, but just a really pretty voice overall. Um, she is an 08 liner, which is just insane. To read, huge gap. Um, it, it will be kind of a struggle to get over the gap, I'm not going to lie, but it's all good. So all good. She has an insane voice, though. Nicknames are Baby Duck, Little Jenny, and Ulsan. Ulsan Jenny? And then Sonyu, who is uh, also... Yeah, so she's also grade 1 then, right? I think her... Well, I know Bowen was grade 1, so it's... Not that that matters too much now, I guess. I, I don't need to know the specifics now. But yeah, they're the grade 1. She's also 08 liner. Which is crazy. Um, <laughs> March 08. She participated on Captain. Her hobbies are eating, sleeping, listening to songs, singing, calling her friends, shopping, and relaxing. So, nice. Alright, let's hop into... I'm still going to struggle to recognize people, especially because I stopped watching the show. Obviously, it would be a lot easier. 
if I'd kept watching the show. But unfortunately, it did not happen. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed this video is in 4K, so... Well, it's... It, actually, when I render it, it may not be in 4K. It might be in 2K, but whatever. I'm watching this video in 4K. <laughs> so... Oh, that's gonna be loud. And I haven't heard this, but I believe this is from the show. Uh, like one of the final songs, I think. Cute. Yeah, a little dance performance video. Ooh. Okay. And I'm guessing, well, never mind. it's not that important, but I was saying I'm guessing some of them are going to be lip syncing, but I'm guessing if they, because I doubt, well, I don't know how the finale actually worked, but I'm assuming this was one of the finale songs and not everybody from um, the group that did this song or whatever was in this. Although maybe they did both songs, like they were divided into two groups, like Girls Planet. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, never mind. Yeah. I haven't watched the finale, so I should, shouldn't try and speculate. Okay. Cute. <laughs> okay. You know what? As a song, I think this song works pretty well for this group. One of my... <laughs> Cute. The spin around with the fingertips. Na, 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 na. Uh, one of my kind of concerns watching the show early on was like just the age gap and what if you end up in a group with fourth years and first years and like how it's going to look different. Um, Bowen and uh, Sonyu are definitely both older looking uh, or at least taller. Um, and Bowen's voice is like uh, pretty mature for her age in terms of how she sounds. So, I think if there were going to be first years with fourth years in this group, I think they probably ended up with the right first years, in my opinion, just based on matching with the older members. So, it actually doesn't look or sound awkward, in my opinion. Which I was, I was kind of concerned it might. So, pleasantly surprised it's not really bothering me. <laughs> Surprise! Ooh, let's go! Yo, the switch looks kind of cool. Oh, Hyeju, dude. She's so insane. Oh, fun. That descending bass line is so fun. Sorry, I'm also kind of reacting to the song, which I'm doing. Maybe it was a bad idea to do like the K profile and. The rant, the like intro and apology and all in one, but I don't know. I didn't want to bother with multiple videos, so. <laughs> That's kind of dope, though. That slide down. That feel one abs. Uh, Ruwan, I think. Yeah, this song moves. It's, it's fun. <laughs> I like the additional little rhythmic part, like the doubling of the bass. Section. That melody in the chorus is really, really nice. That look at me, da 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 da. I don't know. It's just a well, well-written melody fits with the song super well. I 
I enjoy that melody. I enjoy the chorus quite a bit. The fingers are back, the little fun little wink at the end. Cute. Cute. Okay. That was fun. I I, th I thought that was nice actually. Um I still like I think a lot of my concerns are somewhat, like I said, alleviated. Uh I think from the beginning I was saying like if you're gonna go with some of these younger girls, you have to go with the older ones. Um, and I think Bone was definitely, like, my grade one pick. Uh, and I think she fits this very nicely. Uh, I am super curious what sort of song they're gonna go for, for their debut. Uh, I don't know if they've said when they're debuting yet, let me know. I didn't see it on the K-Profile. Um, obviously they just... The finale just happened like a week ago. I'm surprised they put this video out already, like a 4K choreo slash music performance video thing with the final lineup. I think that's cool that they have this out already. Um, yeah. It's a nice song, too. And I think visually they kind of work as a group. So... Whoop. The rap line's pretty good. It's a fun song. I would listen to the song. Um, same Same But Different is also great, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that this was good. But, uh, yeah. I I think this was fun. Um, <laughs> fun little finger stuff in this choreo. Like, the, the... I don't remember who it was in the middle. They spun around, and, like, everybody else had their fingertips up, and they're like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um... We got, like, I don't know, ears or something here. We got... Anyway, it, it was a fun video. Fun choreo. Pretty fun song. Uh, and, like I said, um, I didn't watch the whole show, so I didn't get into the development of, of everyone and everything like that and how chemistry worked and whatever. But uh, this is definitely a final lineup that I'm not too disappointed with. Uh, a lot of my favorite picks, like I said aren't here <laughs> but also i didn't necessarily get to see what made these girls other people's favorite picks so it feels unfair for me to say like that shouldn't have been this way or that way um so yeah that that's kind of my overall thoughts on my teenage girl um as well as kind of my answer to why i'm not finishing it um like I said, uh, unfortunately, everything that I get to do with this K-pop thing is contingent on me having terrible health that prevents me from doing other things that I had planned to do with my life. <laughs> um, which is amazing, because it lets me do this, but also that means sometimes it is going to take over and, and kind of ruin my ability to, to do this thing in the way that I want to as well. So, apologies if you wanted to see my full reaction to My Teenage Girl. Uh, it's probably not going to happen. I may do a stage reaction to all the stages at some point i don't know um but first impression of the group seeing them together seeing them performing um i think it's fun i think this group has a lot of potential i hope they're managed well i'm not familiar with the label let me know if you are and who else the label's managed um but thank you guys so much for watching my name is the newbie warrior uh and uh off topic but terim's gonna take over somewhere you'll see You'll see, she'll pop up again. I have faith. Uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and please remember to stay near me. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me on Patreon, with special appreciation going to Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, G.O.D. Sharma, lucky 7 gen 42 r Yadna, at Sushi Ray H, Bernie Sandars, Jalen Raybon, and Sasuke Reacts.